Southport in the search for the world's most desirable man. One of these 46 guys is going to be Mr. World 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts for this evening, Megan Young, Frankie Chenna, and Jordan Williams. Welcome to the Floral Hall here on the magnificent seafront of Southport. This is the search for the world's most desirable man, Mr. World 2016. I'm also joined by my co-host, former Mr. Canada, Frankie Chenna, and of course, former Mr. England, Jordan Williams. Now, this is my second year at Mr. World, but this year I have been given a different role. The producers have asked me to kind of get under the skin of these contestants to show you what they are really like when the pressure is on. Megan, I think that when they said get under the skin, they meant emotionally, not physically. Don't worry, I kind of knew that. Okay, cool, <laughs> that's fine. Well, Frankie and I will be giving you the results and the details of the series of challenges that these guys have undertaken over the past week. They are 46 warriors. 
We will also be bringing you the news from the judges and speaking to some of the families of our would-be Mr. Worlds. You know what? I think we should get to know them all a little better. We have 46 national winners. Let's see their profiles. Hi, my name is Jinder. I'm representing Canada, and I have my own health and wellness business. I am Daniel Alfaro. I'm representing Costa Rica. I am studying engineering. Hi, I'm Salom Tay. I studied with marketing, and I'm representing Ghana. Hello, everyone. I'm Heraklis Kozas. I've graduated in economics, and I'm representing Greece. I'm Yuki Sato. I've played basketball professionally for three seasons, and I'm representing Japan. Jumbo, I am Kevin Owiti, studying business management and representing my beautiful country, Kenya. Salam alaikum, salam sejahtera. My name is Mohamed Yusuf Tony. I am working as a PR. I am from Malaysia. Hello, I am Edson Bonilla. I study communication. I am from Nicaragua. Hi, I am Paul Pritchard, a managing director from Northern Ireland. Representing South Africa, my name is Armand Duplessis and I currently practice law in Johannesburg by Dunkin. Hi, Bowen. My name is Jackson Ratna, fitness consultant by profession and representing the beautiful island of Sri Lanka. Hi, everyone. My name is Robert Tino. I'm studying marketing and I represent Argentina. Hi, everyone. I'm Fabian Kitzweger. I'm a chemical engineer and I'm proud to represent Austria. Hello everyone, I'm Kyriam Mikhailov and I'm a former tennis player and a future law student and I'm proud to represent Bulgaria. Hello everyone, my name is Danilo Juliet. I'm a student and a model and I'm honored to represent Curacao. Hey guys, I'm Oleg Justus, I'm a sports student and I represent Germany. Hello everyone, I'm David Arias, I'm an English teacher and I'm proudly representing my beautiful country, El Salvador. Hi guys, I'm Rohit Khandelwal. I'm an actor and motivational speaker, and I'm so proud to represent my country, India. Hi, I'm Ganesh Krawal. I work in hospitality field. Proudly represent my country, Nepal. Hey everyone, I am Emilio Michael. I am a lab scientist, and I'm proud to represent Nigeria. Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra Olet. I am an activist, engineer, and adventurer, and I am so proud to represent the United States of America. Hello everyone, Borde Da. My name is Joe Street. I'm an actor and I'll be representing Wales. Hola, mi nombre es Sebastián Molina. Represento al Mr. Bolivia y soy estudiante. Hola, I'm Lucas Montandon. I'm an actor and I'm representing my beautiful country, Brazil. Hello, my name is Zhou Sheng Chang. I'm a student majoring in luxury fashion management. I am representing China. Hey guys, I'm Rasmus Peterson, a qualified salesman representing the happiest country in the world, Denmark. Hi, I'm Ludovic Letin. I'm a strategic goal manager and I'm representing my island, Guadeloupe. Hi, my name is Abelardo. I'm a singer and I'm from Honduras. Ciao ragazzi, my name is Federico Carta. I'm a merchandiser and uh, I'm uh, representing my beautiful country, Italy. My name is Young Sok So. My job is a fitness model and stock trader. I'm from Korea. Hi. My name is Timmy Pushkin. I'm a graphic designer and I'm representing my beautiful island, Malta. Hi, I'm Anatoly Jalbe. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm representing my native country, Republic of Moldova. Hello, I'm Sergio Lopez. I'm an actor and I'm representing Panama. Hello, my name is Sion Garba. I'm a personal trainer and I'm representing Romania. I'm Christopher Bramel, a sports development graduate and I'm representing England. Hey guys. I'm Kevin Martin Guedra, I'm a TV presenter and I represent France. Hello, I'm Darren King and I'm a full-time shop assistant and I'm representing Ireland. Hello, I'm Aldo Sparza, I'm industrial engineer representing Mexico. I am Alan Massa, I am a student in international business, I am represent Peru. Hello, my name is Sam Ajdani and I'm a model and I'm representing the Philippines. Hello. I am Rafał Jankis, I am a professional acrobat. I represent my country, Poland. Hello everyone, my name is Fernando Alvarez Soto. I'm an accounting student and I'm proudly representing my country, Puerto Rico. I'm Tristan Harper, I'm a professional ice hockey player. I'm representing Scotland. Hello, my name is Angel Martinez. I am a student at Police Academy and I am representing Spain. Hello, I am Betty Moina, I am a design student. I am representing Switzerland. 
Welcome to the Mr. World 24 hour extreme challenge. The first challenge is a gruelling June run, which every contestant has to compete in. So I'm very confident I've been prepared really hard for this and I guess I'll take it home where it belongs. The challenge is in two stages, with the red and yellow teams running first. Heading up the first steep climb, it's Greece out in front, leading his team through the high dunes. Back at the start and it's time for the yellow team to get underway. Climbing out of the woods, it looks like Guadeloupe and Italy are leading the pack. Awesome. But for some, the challenge is already hard going. Climbing off the beach, Denmark is leading the yellows. Sweden is making great time and has already started his second lap, with Germany and Costa Rica close behind. Sweden is setting a pace that will be hard to beat. Come on! And Denmark is still going great for the yellows. But for some though, it's all too much and Moldova is forced to withdraw. And the yellow runner has actually caught up with the reds and he's steaming through the back of the red team. Oh my God. But Sweden is already sprinting his way towards the winning post. I want to die from lap two, I think. Some of the, it's just mental. Time to send the next two teams on their way. Up the first climb, USA is out at the front of a tightly bunched green team. The Blues are also closely grouped, with Switzerland leading up the steep climb into the dunes. Germany's just about to start the second lap, and he's setting an amazing pace. The Greens were the first team off, but look, Scotland from the blue team has already caught them up. Even though our guys are in good shape, this is a really hard challenge, and it's taking its toll on some of the runners. Back at the finish, one contestant is about to complete in surely an unbeatable time. There's also a good time from England, but for a few contestants, it's been a truly extreme challenge. It's the only time under 20 minutes, the winner of the Sand Dune Challenge is Mr. Scotland. Yeah. For the second part of the 24 hour extreme challenge, we move to Princess Park. After four hours of exhaustive military fitness training, the teams were told they were competing in a bleep test. It was then time for gruelling elimination rounds to find team champions who would go through to the final. Only three guys made it through. Representing the blue team, we have Mr. Scotland. Representing the red team, we have Mr. Nicaragua. And finally, Mr. Denmark for the yellow team. And they're off. And it's Scotland with an early lead. Nicaragua in second and Denmark in third. At the turn, Nicaragua is not giving up yet, but Scotland has surely an insurmountable lead. And he romps to an early finish. Mr. Scotland, second challenge. Yeah. Sand dunes and now the, the beep test sprints. How do you feel? Exhausted, I can't feel my legs. The final part of the 24 hour extreme challenge takes place here on picturesque Southport Pier. It's a gentle one kilometer stroll to the end, but our guys are going to sprint it and back again. And they're off in this 2000 meter elimination race. As they head towards the first marker, England and Japan are out in front, but Austria is at the back and is the first out of the race. Surging towards the second checkpoint, Nicaragua and Denmark are eliminated. Northern Ireland and Wales are next to go. And as they round the turn, Scotland pulls into a 10 metre lead with Mexico and England in second and third. As they approach the final mark, the others drop by the wayside. It's still Scotland proving triumphant. Coming up to the line now, could this be history? Yes, it is. Scotland wins the extreme challenge. And for the first time ever, a Mr. World contestant has won every section of this challenge. I was tough. Running long distance or short distance fast, mind over matter is always the toughest. That was incredible. You know, those guys have my utmost admiration. And Jordan, those sand dunes must really drain you. Have you ever tried running on sand? I have not. I can tell you the contestants were pushed to their limits. Let's see how they get on in challenge number two, sports and fitness. Welcome to the toughest ever Mr. World Sports Challenge. Keep going, and stand and up. We never trained like this before. It's hard, man. After several hours of warm-up exercises, go, 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 come on. the teams face the crocodile elimination. The team with the most people still moving up and down after four minutes. If you're in a plank position, gentlemen, which is this position, you may rest. Press up at the top and the bottom or you're disqualified. Down, up. Down. 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 Down.
really hard today. I'm kind of hoping it would get easier and easier, but it's just getting harder and harder. You're being judged on everything. Today was a bit of a struggle. It's too tough. It's been a really good, thoroughly good day. Obviously, Miss Scotland has smashed it. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. The teams have been invited to the Woodhay Dunes course at the prestigious Formby Hall Golf Club, where they'll be learning from a pro. The first part of the True Viz Golf Challenge is pitching. The guys are going to get eight balls each. They're going to hit it into three targets. They've got the blue target, which will achieve one point. The yellow target, you'll get two points, and the red, you'll get three. So you can achieve a maximum of 24 points. Let's see how the lads got on. Nice outfit, by the way. Thank you. For those with a little more experience, it's a chance to share tips with their teammates so they can all up their game. So have a practice swing each time and just try and scuff the carpet, get the feel for the club in the ground, and that way the club's low enough down so you can get the right contact. The pitching competition will be played in teams, and the guys are clearly out to win. First time, uh, I never expected to be that good, and I was playing for the team, and this is all for the team. There's some great work in the pitching, and the leaders are Ireland and England on the blue team, and Sri Lanka for the red team. The second part of today's Truviz Golf Challenge is putting. Mark Williams briefs the teams. You're going to start off with the nearest ball to the hole, and you have to keep going until you hole out. Then you go back to the second, then the third, then the fourth. And the aim is to get all the balls in the hole in the fewest amount of puts. The second part of the sports and fitness competition is the True Viz Challenge. In honor of inventor Julian Morley, the guys will actually be using this one-of-a-kind golf ball in the competition. Now, the pro said that you should be able to do this two shots per hole, but I don't think they're going to have it that easy. Let's see how they get on. Only the best individual players will go through to the final. Now we have two, England and Panama. It's good. He's left himself with about half a meter to go. Panama's still got a lot to do. He's gone long. If England puts this shot, he's won the True Viz Golf Challenge. And he's done it. It was a good foot and a half away and I was, oh my God. I had to let go of the club for a second, rest it in my hands because my hands are shaking and that feeling in your heart and you're just trying to block everything out because it brings more pressure if you're thinking about that. But obviously I've done well in both of them, which obviously helped me out, obviously come to the top. Next up is the penalty shootout competition. The first round is one shot sudden death elimination. If they miss, they're out. If they score, they're through to round two. In round two, the balls are moved further from the goal, and each player needs to score twice. Mexico shows his skills. Malaysia goes through with a perfectly placed second strike. And Spain also scores two with ease. For the final, we return to sudden death. Malaysia's shot is saved. Can Mexico score his penalty? It's another save. So Spain has this penalty to win the football challenge. And he does with a superbly placed penalty. Me siento contento. Tenemos un buen portero que ha parado un montón de penalti, pero le he pegado duro y y no ha podido pararlo. So to recap, fitness was won by Scotland. The golf was won by England, and Spain won the football. And the overall sports winner is... England! So England wins the sports final and progresses to the semi-final round. Everyone's happy, but we'll now take a break from the individual competition and move to the team challenge. The contestants have been divided into four teams identified by the colors, red, green, yellow, and blue. All of them hoping to be crowned Mr. World Team Champions. 
being part of the Mr. World competition is all about teamwork. Every contestant is a member of one of four teams, and it's a chance for the guys to bond, make friends, and work together. We're looking for the top team of 2016, and we've been adding up the team and personal scores from our challenges all week. At the moment, the Blues are out in front after their successes in sports and extreme. But there's still a chance for the others to make up lost ground with our three team challenges. Ten ton, cooking, and the team media challenge. Ten ton is just what it sounds like, with a mountain of mulch to be shifted to flower beds in the local park. The teams have only two wheelbarrows each and their ingenuity to get the job done. So guys, we're going to keep going, okay, rotating. We're marking International Nelson Mandela Day, honoring the great